So here in chemical equilibrium, we will study about the Haber process. Okay, Haber process, which is actually used to do what this is used for making ammonia. What is the formula of ammonia? Ammonia, which is NH3. Ammonia, NH3. Now here, first of all, we will be talking about the raw materials that we would need. So when we look at the formula of ammonia, we can see that it has nitrogen and hydrogen in it. So this nitrogen and hydrogen where it is uh, obtained nitrogen by fractional distillation of liquid air, fractional distillation of liquid air, while hydrogen is by cracking of ethane or even hydrocarbon. You can say even natural gas yeah, in the exam, they would ask us, where do we obtain from? Now, what is the main equation for ammonia? What is that? That is N2 plus H2, both gases, reversible reaction equilibrium, and H3. Need to balance it. And this is our balance equation, keeping in mind forward reaction is what? Forward reaction is exo. Backward reaction is endo. Keeping in mind, what are the reaction conditions for this? When you know we are talking about reaction conditions, it is very important to remember all of it. Okay, reaction conditions are Reaction conditions are, whenever we talk about reaction conditions, we will talk about in terms of equilibrium, like which conditions will favor to obtain the higher yield, because ultimately our aim is to obtain higher yield, right? So first of all, we will talk about pressure. Okay, pressure, you know, which is higher, higher pressure is used. And what is that? 200 ATM. Okay, this is why higher pressure is used because here, you know, we have fewer mole, right? We can see here we have two, here three plus one. There is, here is nothing, so means one, right? So means four moles on reactant side, two moles on product side. So, Higher pressure favors the side with favors the side with fewer moles, right? So this is what we will remember. It will favor the sides with fewer moles, so which is ammonia side. So what happens? Equilibrium shifts there. This is how we need to explain in the exam. Equilibrium shifts to right. So when it shifts to right, what happened? Yield of ammonia increases. This is basically what we want, right? We want to increase the yield of ammonia. Then, you know, go to next. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about our catalyst. Catalyst is what? Catalyst is iron. Keeping in mind, catalyst does not increase the uh, uh, catalyst, does not shift the position of the equilibrium. It increases rate of forward and backward reaction equally, right? Huh? Now, you know, let's talk about one more thing which is very important, which is about temperature. So when you know I am talking about, so this is also huh, the reaction condition when I'm talking about so temperature. Temperature, basically, we will use compromised temperature, we call it. Compromised temperature means 
450 degree celsius not too high not too low because we already know lower temperature will make the rate will make the rate of reaction very slow even though we have already uh, learned that if forward reaction is exothermic lower temperature will increase the yield right but here if we are using too low temperature so what will happen it will make the rate of reaction very is slow that is why what we will do we will basically use compromised means not too high and not too low temperature so we can get decent enough yield at this temperature for haber process and how ammonia will be obtained ammonia will be obtained in liquid form keeping in mind liquid liquefied ammonia will be obtained the remaining gases when you know they are because not all these uh, nitrogen and hydrogen reacted and you know get us ammonia there will be some unreacted as well so what will happen they will be sent back to the reacting uh, chamber reacting class where you know it can uh, react further react again and produce ammonia so this is how ammonia will be produced